What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today, I'm gonna to bring you a special kind of video. So just for context, um, I'm in the new toy department uh, store, spot, whatever, location, whatever you wanna call it. Um, in a couple of days, they will be opening, but from this video, they will be opening tomorrow is their grand opening, which will be uh, July 15th. Saturday, July 15th is when they will be doing their grand opening of this massive store i mean just to give you somewhat of an idea it's insane so i'm going to try to go very in depth um so thank you to kenny and everybody in this decision process of letting me come here and get some footage um i didn't want to upload this too early um just because people might forget or they might get confused so i want so the day that this is uploaded should be friday and then like i said tomorrow saturday They'll be their grand opening. So if you guys are in the area, make sure to come stop by. If you want to travel, this is, I can already tell it's worth it. I've, I did a little bit of a lap, but I'm talking too much. I can already tell. This might be a long video because right now what I want to do is kind of go through the stuff that I'm interested in. I want to give you a little in-depth, but I'm going to try to hit every, every section, at least give you an overview. Because uh, Kenny just told me this is a little over 6,000 square feet. Um, I'll ask them later what their other store was just so I can give you a comparison, but um, Let me just try to give you so here's the front door um, Obviously it's taped out so you can't see but this is what you see when you walk in so here is going to be the checkout counter um, Back in the back is where you're going to do all of or where they will do all the buying Well, you as a customer will do all your selling to keep it separated Which I think is very good because it's not going to keep this clustered up so you have all these aisles to the left and all of these aisles to the right, I'm not gonna lie, this actually feels like like a legit, like a KB Toys type of vibe. I don't know if that's aging me or not, but not to say that their other store didn't feel like it, but toy store, but this feels like a toy store. There's aisles, there's row, there's, it's insane. So I'm gonna shut up and we're just gonna keep this clip going. So they're infamous for their prototypes, their whatever Kenner stuff that they've had that's insanely rare um yeah that's just obviously out of my ballpark but oh my god the lost world so some of the stuff i'm just seeing for the first time so if it is what it is but holy smokes there's so much stuff here um yeah old jurassic park stuff i probably had most of this as a kid definitely didn't have the big stuff i had some of the dinosaurs that's very cool and then this aisle transformer masterpiece i think those are what those are called SP stuff. Some cool transformers. Wow. Yeah, like everything's just gonna be so organized. Like their old stores, they were organized, but they just didn't have the room for all this stuff. Man. I mean, this inventory is insane. Oh my gosh. Here's some Joes. Are these modern? Yes. Okay, so modern, modern, modern. Okay, they just look old. Gotcha. There's that. Some more Joe's stuff. So all of this stuff, because you guys will be watching this tonight. If you are coming to Toy Department tomorrow, all of this stuff will be here. Um, I'm not buying. I can't buy anything. So don't think that anything that you see is the potential of being gone. Um, so if you see anything in this and you want to make it down here, I'd recommend doing it. So that's also why i uh, wanted to wait a little bit before opening to release the video so and hopefully this is turns out pretty good so i want to do some due diligence to toy department as a thank you for at least letting me come in because this is cool just to see but lots of transformer stuff i i don't know where they kept all this stuff they must have had a huge storage container so all right, now what's around here? Okay, is this Marvel Legend? Okay, so here's some more Transformer stuff. Some DC. Oh, I just noticed DC and Marvel. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Now, I kind of know what I'm looking at here, if I remember. Some Builder figures. I would assume there's some Toy Biz Marvel Legends in here somewhere. As well as some of the Hasbro ones. Dang. Looks good though. Got Galactus and 
Oh my gosh, Sentinel. Oh, those are half. Yeah, those both have love. Those are huge. Some inbox Marvel Legends. Some import stuff as well. And Mesco down there. Wow. That Punisher's was one of my favorites when I. Oh, no, wait. I had that. I didn't display it. I had that. Um, I had the, the comic Punisher. That was the one I was thinking of. Some Dragon Ball statues. Got 12 bucks for those statues. It's so cool. I know they're not like crazy priced to begin with, but. Wow, I can't believe that's going. For that much, here goes some Neko. So I'm going to be interested in the Mythic Legion stuff, obviously. But, I mean, I love looking at all this stuff. I mean, it, it's one thing that's kind of a bummer about me not collecting everything right now. Um, is I don't get to enjoy it. But I can appreciate it from afar now. Which is cool. The loot crate stuff, but... Damn, that Mauser pack is 330 bucks. Wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, what's this? Some more NECA. I kind of already veered off course of the plan that I really wanted to do. Oh, you know what? Some of these would kind of look cool with Mythics. They're not really in scale, per se, but that little ogre guy right there, if he was just a little bigger, he would look cool just kind of with the Mythics in a way. Yeah, that was really cool. Is there anything else back there? No, I don't think anything else would really fit. But yeah, the scale of it's just a little off. Let me have some statues. Don't know what brand, don't know anything, but. Whew, all right. Um, okay, so we went down this aisle. So this is aisle one. Wow. Okay, well, I have to cut the clip because I think this clip's gonna be too long. My camera's gonna shut off, so and we're back. So this looks to be a little bit of classic stuff mixed in. I mean, there's just so much. Got the, what are these, the Diamond Selects, right? All sorts of Diamond Select figures. Man. We have the old, like, Toy Biz X-Men stuff. There was a, a while. People uh, watching probably don't remember this, but I, there was a, a point where I was really collecting these, like, on card. A lot. I mean, because these are what I grew up with. Like this, and like, I've, I've talked about it before, but like the functions, and the, I guess the playability? I don't really know what to call it, but the features, more or less, that they used to throw on these toy bits stuff was so cool. Like, you would put him on the pegs, fill it up with water, put it in the freezer, and then you would pop that out, and you could literally, like, slide him across your countertop. <laughs> Just lots of cool things like that. But, oh, no. oh, gosh. Oh, I'm breaking it. Okay, so there's a bunch of the uncanny X-Men stuff. I love that. It's a fun little blast from the past. Wow. And then we get into some of the newer Hasbro Legends. That Frost Giant's cool. Still probably too big for, or not at a, not in scale, obviously, with uh, Mythics. We have some loose legends right here and then the other side is all DC stuff so since I really don't know what I'm talking about I'll just kind of try to make sure I skim through it and at least show you guys what to expect if you are in the market now I'm sure a lot of this stuff will still be available after they're opening tomorrow so it's not like you have to be here tomorrow to get what you see but just in case you will be coming tomorrow there is a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And there is a zero way I could record this on their uh, <laughs> release day or whatever you want to call it, opening day. I just know that there's no way. So here's some Power Rangers. I'm kind of bummed that I had to stop collecting these just because of the nostalgia part. I mean, I, you know, I buy and sell the same figure 20 times over. That's just kind of my specialty but nostalgia wise it'd be pretty cool to still collect these I don't know what these things are uh, let's 
see, is it Bandai Geki Gazelle? I have no idea. I'm not even trying to pronounce but there's those if you collect those. Some G.I. Joe stuff. Oh my gosh. These are legit. I had when I was a kid. I used to buy these um, little packs. Yes. I wish Parker would have got into these a little bit. Like the old school G.I. Joe stuff. That would be, uh, that would be cool. All right, and then Modern Joes. Once again, zero idea what I'm looking at, but hopefully I'm at least showing enough. I'm trying to do my best by going slow because my anxiety is kicking in. Like my, uh, what's that called? Not anxiety, sensory overload. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And here's Barbies. I would assume not too many of you looking for Barbies. Maybe your significant other does. Maybe someone in your family does, but here's that stuff. Some, oh, still old G.I. Joe's. Oh, whoa. Dang, that's actually pretty cool. What a blast from the past, man. <laughs> and then I don't know if I mentioned this, but the, now they're selling like a lot more of their uh, cases, stands, and then um, some poly bags. I bought quite a bit of these when I was selling a bunch of stuff. And to sort out my Mythics, I use these. They're nice. All right, so here's the back half of the store. So we pretty much just look through the front right and all the display cases. So that pole right there with the wires running down it, that's where the checkout counter is. So this and all the way back is what I would consider the, uh, the back of the store. So we're gonna tackle this next. And uh, I'll just kind of section it out and I'll try to at least say where I'm at in the store. That way when you guys come in, um, if you're looking for something specific and I described it correctly, you should be able to um, find it, hopefully. I don't know, because this store is really big. I, it, I might seem like I'm over-exaggerating it, but it's huge. Nekatune two packs, absolutely insane. It's just a lot. It's, I really like the display of everything too. I like that. I like that pack. Channel six, mutagen tour. Yeah, this is another thing I wish I could have kept, but with the new house and everything, man, it's just hard to buy how I used to. Because after the house payment quadrupling, I mean, <laughs> my anything budget just went down the drain. This is a big figure. Damn, that's hefty. That looks good. There's some of these figures I haven't even seen. I didn't even know they're out. I feel like some of these were at Target recently, maybe. I don't know. But a lot of that, you know, we've seen. Tenfold of. All right, NECA Godzilla. In the back right of the store. Okay, so this is the buying counter before I get too distracted. So, you're walking through the front door if you want to buy, or I'm sorry, if you want to sell, this is their buying counter. You just come here, which is cool. And then they have all that space back there, which is crazy. I have, I did see that, um, but that was a long time ago. I had to pick up some totes. I was able to see, but quite a bit of NECA stuff. Oh, so they have loose NECA here. Okay. Hopefully, yes. I'd like to that one back here. And then some NECA predators. Once again. Back in the day, big kick. I think my first toy hunt was Cincy. When we actually first met, we went to some Toys R Us's and I bought my first NECA figure. And I remember how big of an upgrade buying a NECA figure was. Because at that time, I think I only did Black Series and Legends, Marvel Legends. And I remember from there, it was down, down the rabbit hole pretty much because I started buying a bunch of Predators and stuff. So cool little callback though. It's fun to relook at them. Wow, more NECA. I didn't realize this. So what do we have here? Is there any, is it, maybe just the bigger box sets are on this? Just trying to figure out if there's a rhyme or reason for this, but. And then here, a little bit more organized of the gargoyle stuff. Um, this is gonna be a repetitive thing, but once again, I wish I could have kept all these because this was literally my childhood. Like I loved gargoyles growing up, but with how big they are with like the wings and 
you know, just to be able to display them cool, you have to have a lot of room. Like a lot, a lot of room. So those weapons are actually pretty cool. Hmm. But they're not, I mean, they're not badly priced at all, in my opinion. How much is Bronx? 40? Because I had, I think I had Hudson. I for sure had Goliath. I had Demona. I believe I had Bronx. And then Broadway came out later. And I, I didn't really want dialogue just because he pretty much is Goliath. Okay, where are these sucker punch things? I have a Zack Snyder film. Okay, never seen those before. I don't know if he's supposed to move. Or what's going on, but why? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so there's those. Uh, Walking Dead. And the, there's some Hobbit stuff. Cactus Jack, is that the Fortnite thing, I think? I think Cactus Jack and Fortnite did some stuff. Okay, Mario. No stuff. Good lord, there's just so much stuff. All right, Jurassic Park. I'm gonna kind of speed through this stuff. Starting lineup, SpongeBob. Uh, looks like more starting lineup type of stuff, maybe? I don't know. Jurassic Park. If Parker was still into this, this would be dangerous. Oh, what is this? Are these uh, board games? Or tabletop games? Is that what this is? And Middle Earth Expansion must be. Huh. I don't remember them ever doing a whole bunch of that, so that's cool if they're expanding that. Yeah, Warhammer. Huh. Got some stuff for the kiddos. Look at that. Look at all those hot toys. Oh boy. Cars. What are these? One necklace, I guess some movies, looks like, some books. This is cool, they just have a, a little bit of random stuff. No idea what these things are. <laughs> Fucklers. Oh, here we go, AWOC. So shout out to Jason and everyone from Spiro doing their thing. Pretty cool figures. Because when I got them, they were like the little three and three quarter stuff, which is pretty cool. Barnyard Commandos. Yeah, I just, I, I must be lost. I don't know what that is. No idea what that is. I've seen those before. Those are pretty cool. Like little uh, eclectic display pieces. Um, okay, so we did that. All right, so oh, I didn't do any of that back wall. Um, okay, so Hot Wheels. I'm gonna go through this quick too, so we can, oh, micro machines. Here goes my ADD kicking in, son of a bitch. Right. Okay, uh, yeah, starting lineup. Then, I guess we're gonna get back into kind of the miscellaneous stuff. To the back of this, Metal Gear Solid, here you go, Cody. There's probably, I don't even, Sniper Wolf. Isn't that a YouTuber? Did she steal a name from this? I think she didn't. There's that. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's it. Alright, I'm going to end this clip. Start the next one. Alright, let's get into what I'm kind of excited to look at, even though I'm not buying anything, but they're Hot Toys display. So, we'll go with this, and then we'll wrap around, do the hacks on that back wall, run into legions, and then a couple hot toys and some stuff. So this will be the next area. So here's other hot toys. Moon Knight, everyone's raving about that figure right now. The integrated suit Spidey, I think 290 for that. Oh, it's open, but it's still bad. Wish I could look at it. Dang. Look at that. Wu and Shang-Chi, Black Widow, y Yelena. Yeah, Karina would want Widow and Yelena. I think we enjoyed the Black Widow movie, if I remember correctly. Definitely enjoyed Loki and Sylvie. Does this have a window? At least one of 
show some video. Okay, I can't really see anything. But I'm not going to get sucked back in the hot toys. There ain't no way. Nope. Not going to do it. Oh my god, Scarlet Witch. Oh, I want to send Karina a picture of this. Because we loved One Division. Yeah, that one was that. And then, um, I thought there was one other Wanda they showed. Maybe not. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, lots of good stuff. And I think, don't quote me, but I think on the back side there's even more. I cannot back into those. I will be banned forever if I do that. So, here we go. Here's some more. But yeah, see, look. Wait, Deluxe. 425 new. Is this complete? Deluxe for 290. Wow. That's insane. And then the non-deluxe is 285. Wow, this is a steal. If you guys come tomorrow and you're looking for hot toys, this might be one of the biggest steals in the hot toy department. I did not realize. Wow, that's pretty good. I want to open that up and look at it. Not that I want to buy it, but I just want to see what it is. Oh, well, while we're here, these were the AWOC figures that I originally um, looked at back in the back when they first released. Actually, I think they were under Kickstarter. All right, some quarter scale stuff. I'm going to try not to get too distracted. In game Hulk for two twenty five. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that this is like my favorite hot toy ever, but for $225, having a freaking Hulk <laughs> and getting the, the Nano Gauntlet and the Snapped. Oh, man. Well, here you go. Number two, I don't know what the market is on these. So th these this could be like market price, you know what I mean? But, um... Yeah, that's that's okay. There are more nice, but yeah, that to me is a, a great price. All right, we got Cyborg, Justice League Batman, so some DC stuff up top. Rick and Morty. Wonder if Dave and Chomp should know about that. I'll have to send them a picture of that too. But they're all the way in Wisconsin, so that's not going to help them at all. Some Star Wars hot toys. Man, the clone troopers are nice. Those are nice. The battle droid's sick. Luke is pretty good. I wonder how good that Bespin Luke looks. What Vader is that? Is that Empire Vader? That might be Empire Vader. I don't know. 125 for a 501st Stormtrooper. Oh wait, Stormtrooper Commander. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's not 501st. Is there anything wrong with it? No extra hands? <laughs> Kylo for 190, Purge Trooper is sick. 271 for Crosshair. Hunter and Echo. So you got some of the Bad Batch. You got Cody, Jenga Fett, Rex, Jesse, 501st, Deluxe, Vaughn, and Ahsoka. Yeah, and then 375 for the Deluxe. Mando and Grogu. Anakin with the Stap. Quarter scale deluxe Joker. Jeez, Carnes and Venom are massive. Wow. Those are big boys. Yeesh. Alright. Let's look at these. What are the. How do I pronounce that name? Uh, I have no idea. Sores. Uh, Zoic Warriors? No idea. Those look just like some. Uh, the, Help me out. Are these like some like retro homages that Boss Fight did, or are these like their own thing? Because they look like something that would probably have been out in like the 80s. So I have no idea. Um, hacks. This is another good callback to the channel and my collecting um, timeline. I don't know. Not that really any of you guys care, but I just want to kind of reminisce a little bit. Sorry about the trailer. That reminds me of a Diablo character. Diablo Barb. Um, yeah, I had a bunch of these. This was my first ever boss fight figure that got me into the, uh, I don't know, the line, I guess you could say. 
it was that and then it was the night of asperity those are the two but these are really cool i mean for the three and three quarter scale stuff they do some cool stuff they come with a ton of accessories and a ton of cool things like he comes with a book some magic potions that little lantern thing and then the staff his little staff whatever it's called then they eventually did mounts that's about the time that i got out of them was uh at the mounts and they have these uh, six inch uh skeletons which could scale pretty well with mythics and here we go so we have some mythics we have the unknown one um is that the, that's not the legions con one is it i don't think it is uh i could be wrong that looks like the legions con box though i don't know um, and then we have some more. So I believe um, if you guys do come for Mythics, I believe everything that they have is cont a continuation behind it. So this should be Valak. This should be Juggle. Yeah. So everything back here is going to be a continuation. So there's some good stuff, though. I mean, they have Vorthog. He's one that's been on my list for a while. This figure is absolutely awesome. I need probably like two of these eventually. Um, Dwarf Builder Scaphioid is pretty cool. I have some skellies. And with the Necro wave coming out, you know, at some point, like that's going to be a cool skeleton to have. Same with Tibius. It's pretty cool. I need a Dark Templar as well because I bought this uh, kit um, for a horse and for him to kind of change his look up a little bit. This is Hadriana. I have her, I got her from the toy department a couple, um, like a month ago. Oh, Baron Volagar. Okay, so it's still technically him because this is the version one, that's version two. Um, Vitus is one that I want to pick up. They have a loose one. They have a loose display finally for Mythics that I'll show you guys. So, Templars. Oh man, I'm not really like, I wasn't a fan of like the creatures. But, but these two, man, these are awesome. The Hellfire, I mean, look at the detail on the Hellfire Goblin. Really, really cool. And I believe you can put wings on him. Oh, he has wings, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, I think he has wings. I'm not for sure, but he looks awesome, that head. So, there's a bunch here that, I mean, I, I definitely do want. I mean, I'm very backlogged on all my stuff right now. So here's the case. Obviously, it doesn't have doors on it yet, but we have Cassia, the first Barbarian Builder kit. Um, Equadron, I don't really know how to pronounce the name. Torgun, Redfin, and then the Furious Four. That I know for sure is the Legion's Con. So that must be the Legion's Con, unknown one. Uh, it's an exclusive. That comes with, I think, the cat head and the tail, I believe, is the exclusiveness of that. And then that has like a soft goods tunic or something i don't remember but i know it's something soft goods oh man this magnus pretty good various vitus yeah i mean there's just so many good figures here oh i wasn't even showing you guys my bad very good so there's the unknown one that's opened so that's part of the furious four which is that and then that red orc back there is also a part of that set Sir Gerard, Gerard, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's a homage figure to Jeremy. I mean, 30 bucks for that. It's insane. Athelia, Loose Bar Builder, Scaphioid, Gladiator Builder, Toron, Krampus, Vitus, Bar Builder for 20 bucks, good lord. It's crazy. Got some other of their uh, pricier hacks down here. I wonder if they have the Knight of Asperity. I guess they don't. I wanted to show you guys him because he's pretty cool. Then we have some of the horses from Four Horsemen as well. And we have the Moose Alder. Al Al I call him Aldler. That's not even how you pronounce it. Got Light Side Annie in here. Some Mescos. I think that's mine from quite a bit ago. <laughs> when I collected Osmus Lord of the Rings stuff for about three hours. Uh, then we have oh, Big Boy, Hot Toys, Blurg, Quill, Mando, and Blurg, the Speeder, Return of the Jedi Speeder, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Hmm. 
All right, I think teacher Steve had that. He said it's one of the best six scale figures. I, I, I think someone else had it too. I'm pretty sure that's what teacher Steve had. All right, so that was literally just that section. 10 minutes just to look through this stuff, which is kind of crazy. So just for context, front door, got a great backdrop of the Hot Toys. I didn't even show this Ghost Rider, I forgot. Um, so we're gonna go through the Lego section. I'm not gonna go over the pops that much just cause I, everyone has seen all the pops. I probably, I mean, here's a good, here's Star Trek, some Gargoyles, some Congo. So this is like some old, very vintage, old school stuff right here. Um, so there's that. I'm not going to go over this stuff too much, unless I see something that sticks out. Like in the case, there's some like autograph pops. I might showcase those a little bit, but we are going to look at the Lego next. So the Lego already has a crazy end cap going. So here's a Coruscant Police Gunship 310 for that because of three minifigures. I think, I don't know what makes the set exclu uh, that expensive. I'm assuming it's probably one of the minifigures, but if you guys collect Lego, let me know. I mean, these Pirates of the Caribbean ships, they were expensive when I collected Lego, but $9.50 and $7.75. But these all are sealed, so I know that's going to do a lot to the price, but I think, I don't know if Karina has this. I think I bought Karina that. I mean, that's not cheap either, by any means, but I'm almost positive I bought Karina that. She still does her Disney and Harry Potter stuff for the most part. We'll see how long that lasts. Got the tree house. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> Some of the older Lego stuff is crazy. This I know is expensive. I don't think I, there's no price on it, but I know City Docks is expensive. Funny enough, Crane and I, we still watch Lego YouTubers more than I watch like toy YouTubers, if that makes sense. Cause I just, I love Lego. Like the, the huge Lego cities that people do, I just, I give them all the credit in the world. It's, it's insane, so. I am familiar with some of this stuff just because I watched that a lot, but I'll try to show you guys some cool stuff if I happen to see it. I yeah, like these little Harry Potter stuff. Now she isn't into like the, the I'm calling it vintage just because it's old. So forgive me that it's not technically vintage, but like the old vintage Harry Potter stuff. I don't think she's, uh, she's really wanting that much, but it's more or less just the newer stuff. What is this? She likes her holiday sets too. Oh. Wow, when is this from? $300 for this? What year is this? Does it not have a year on it? 2012, wow. Yeah, this is cool. See, Karina would love this. This is something that she would definitely want. Because we have a couple of the, uh, ouch. The winter sets and some of the, the Halloween sets as well. Here they have some modulars already built, which is cool because it's you really don't get the uh, the full effect of Lego, like especially the modular stuff because they're supposed to, you know, take up some good surface area. But you don't get the the gist of it by like looking at that. But seeing them built is really cool. There you have the Ninjago City. I don't think I had that one. I had a garden something. City gardens, I think, is what I had. Damn, they have two city docks? Yeah, see, sealed 700. So yeah, I, I knew it was expensive. Pirate ship built. I had a bunch of these uh, modulars. I just never got to build them. I did, we did build the diner. I think I built that. This one, built that one. We built the bookshop. And I think that's it. Because I had the movie theater, never built it. Had Assembly Square, never built it. So, pretty cool. I think this is all, they have a Falcon. Is that, that's the UCS Falcon, right? Yeah. I think that's all the Lego that they have. Obviously a ton of wrestling. Yeah, all right. I will, uh, I showed you guys this stuff. All right, let me start at the beginning of the aisle. All right, wrestling. I want to start at the end cap, Mattel Creations. Um, oh, is that the, wait, that's the whole, is it just a ring? Is that the whole? I thought it was bigger. Oh, and it comes with Doink and Diesel. Okay, so that is the whole thing. Um, I saw on 
their Instagram that these figures, the heels and faces, is a cool thing to have. It's like an are these heels and faces? Is that like an independent company? I yeah, saw when you toys. okay, because I saw when you posted, they reposted you or a comment or something. So yeah. I just I didn't know what the gist of it was, but I figured it was a big deal if they're thanking you. Yeah, they, uh, a pretty popular That's pretty cool. wrestling line. Okay, right on. See, the more you know. So there's that. And then we walk through. Okay, so first to the right, Simpsons, Star Trek stuff. I'll show you the case, but here's their loose figures. I don't know. I don't think Parker's super into wrestling figures anymore. We did watch Money in the Bank. We do watch it from time to time, but I don't think... He would rather have a switch in his hand instead of an action figure, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Why does this give Scott Hall like a beer belly? Did my man dirty back then. I had this, so these Smash and Slams, I had a bunch of when I was a kid. I had the DDP for sure. Uh, I had Sting, I had Scott Hall, for sure had Hogan, for sure had Nash. I don't know if I had Giant, but I had Lex Luger. Oh, and Scott Hall had the sting mask for when he uh, came out with it on, too. That's cool. See, that's some stuff that I would buy to keep in package at, at some point. I, I wouldn't do it now or, you know, whatever. But coming across those, if they weren't, like, ungodly expensive, that would be awesome to have. Because I'm just telling this first story. But I remember my grandpa and grandma, they used to save up their change because they went to Florida for the, the winter. And every year, my mom and I would go visit them in Florida. And every year, my grandpa would save up all of his change for the year. And he would cash it in before we got there, and we would go to Toys R Us. And I could get anything I want. So, this, these kind of figures hit home because those were the years when I, I remember buying these from Toys R Us. Like, with my grandpa, which was really cool. So, just stuff like that unlocks, like, those nostalgia, just those memories which is probably one of the main reasons why a lot of us buy these older figures is to just kind of relive that and just to have it and I don't know not that you, you guys don't even care but that's just I'm just talking at this point my bad but I just thought I'd share that story because it might hit home to some people so I would assume these are going to be their higher ish price um, I know for sure that's my Britt Baker <laughs> um, autograph figure some loose CM Punk stuff. I'm sure Seth has all of these. 300 for... I uh, don't know who that is. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. That's all I got out of that. Some AW stuff. What are these guys? Tonka? Wrestling Buddies? Okay. So these are definitely old. These are LJN. Okay, I know that from Seth. So these are kind of important in the old Hasbro stuff. I know those are expensive. Duh, but I know those are popular as well. I remember Seth liking those. So there's some Hasbro stuff. Hopefully I'm giving you guys a good little uh, view of all this stuff. And then I'm gonna flip around and this is gonna be their inbox stuff. So lots of elites, Macho Man. This is one that I would have bought if I was collecting wrestling still. The Fiend, these are good prices on these. Especially the Ronda. I remember her being expensive at one point. Rikishi. Damn, this is a cool figure. <laughs> like that one. Alexa, Hogan. Roman. Parker wants this figure. He loves Roman. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just going to go over these slow. There's just way too much to try to hyper-focus on one specific figure, but if you do collect wrestling, you'll probably know what you're looking at just based off of the box, so there is that. And then we roll into some AEW stuff. Okay, now I haven't even seen this stuff yet. I only focused on that before I started recording just to try to get a lay of the land. So there are some pretty expensive pops. Um, that Bonnie Wright pop right there, that was Karina's. I actually got that signed for her. 
me and Victoria met her. So I know that's Karina's. I'm sure a lot of these are Karina's because when he, when we sold her collection and stuff, they held a lot back for, uh, for this opening, I believe. So lots of stuff. A Bengals helmet. All right, I want to swap around here and we're going to go down this aisle. And this is all Star Wars. So I should know what I'm talking about on this stuff. So we have Kit Fistus lightsaber, Dooku's, and Asajj. Some micro machines, some old six inch stuff, or sixth scale stuff, not six inch. Oh wow. I am so distracted by absolutely everything right now. Oh my goodness. I see the Galaxy Edge, the Legacy sets. Okay, so those are a little different than like the Legacy hilts, I believe. Old school gunship. Oh, oh, that's cool. The Jedi Order. Oh, my camera is already at a half battery right now. This is insane. I've never recorded this much. Wow. Yeah, there's tons. I mean, as a kid, I mean, I think it was my 10th birthday. Let's see, so I would have been 10. Duh, 10th birthday, 2098. Wow, so this is my 8th birthday when this came out. So I got that and that for my birthday. I remember those for sure. I definitely got this. This was like the toy to get once Phantom Menace came out. Cause you got Darth Maul, you got him in his robe, you got the speeder. Like that was the figure to get. Had that, had the air speeder. Most of the episode one stuff I, I probably would have had to an extent. I didn't get anything, any of the bigger sets. I had this Power of the Force set. Indoor, which is cool. Once again, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize that I'm talking so much and just hyper focusing on some things, but this is about the only way that you'll get me to be able to slow down and record. So, this is just what we got to do. Once again, callback there was a time where I had a lot of carded and loose Clone Wars stuff. One of my favorite things to collect was that. And then it just got so expensive and it got to the point where there was so much money sitting on my shelf and I wanted to buy the things to where it was silly to keep them. Um, and then we flip and we have all six inch and black series stuff. Wow. I don't think I could ever go back to black series though. I think I did for a minute. I tried to only do like the animated stuff so everything that Hot Toys was probably not going to make I was trying to collect in Black Series and then that just became too much as well. So now all I'm doing is uh, Mythics as you can tell. Got some good loose stuff though. All of these, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. I forget what troopers these are, oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm a fake Star Wars fan now. It might come to me. It's like that. Omega Troopers? Nope, not that either. I forget. I forget. $10. Commandos. That's what it is, right? Aren't these Republic Commando guys? Something like that? I don't remember, but pretty good prices. Three and three quarters. I remember before she was a release, she was like 80, 90, 100, 200 dollars, something like that. Something crazy. Micro machines. Had my fair share of those. The Beast Kingdom stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Well, I'm at half battery. I gotta go check to see if I have another battery. And then um, I think I'm wrapping it up because we only have this section and that aisle and we should be good. Okay, so end cap of this. And I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. The only reason why I'm cutting the clips is to make it easier for me to edit because this is a lot of footage. But anyways, Star Trek stuff. Um, vintage Star Wars. I'll give you kind of like a snapshot. I, since I don't know what I'm looking at, I'm, I can't go into detail about everything, but I'll at least kind of hover over for you guys and give you guys an idea. I'm sure a lot of people who watch this channel are not uh, doing vintage. Just because I've never done vintage. Star Wars trade. I think they got trading cards on here. That's pretty cool. That's one thing that I wish I would have had more when I was a kid was the trading cards. Because then I'd be more inclined to buy them right now. 
Mm. Okay, so I can talk about this stuff because these are modern. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they had this many modern loose single figures in their old store, but man oh man, there's a ton in here that I'll be jumping on. Actually, I lied. At this point, if all I collected was the three and three quarter stuff, I probably would have most of these. <laughs> so, because I collected those about five years ago. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like I don't want to collect these anymore, because seeing them uh, makes me just want to buy more. I remember at their very first store, they would have two big totes, bigger than this, full of um, these figures, Star Wars Loose figures. And I want to say they were like 5 and $10, and they were just thrown in there, because they bought a huge collection, and I think they just priced them to move, because me and Billy, we went, I mean, we picked out a bunch of stuff from there. But... It's gonna be hard to find stuff like that nowadays. So here's some more Black Series, as you can see. Nice little gunship up there. HasLab, Razor Crest. Wow. Oh, it's open. That's why I was gonna say 1250. That feels like that's a pretty good deal. That's beautiful. One thing I regret not buying, because we were on our way to C2E2, and it was my first big convention. I didn't know what to expect, and I didn't back that because I wanted money to spend at the uh, convention but I mean I would have already have sold it so it's not like I would still have it by now but still something I regret not having having to been able to say that I've owned it if that makes sense but the uh, Galaxy's Edge hilts it's pretty cool I like the way that this is displayed like if you just kind of step back and just look at these cases they're very cool very uh pleasing aesthetically Turtle stuff, not really familiar. I know this is all Super 7 stuff, um, but it's hard to really see what they have. The undercover Raph is there. Just Mausers, Ace Duck, Bebop, Baxter. I mean, probably just the normal stuff that's out. I don't think Super 7 has any like super rare stuff since all of it's available for a while to pre-order. Um, this looks like it's gonna be more vintage, so I'll show the turtles. Um, because I know Craig hope, might be watching this, don't know, but I know Vintage Turtles is pretty easy to look at and kind of know who they are, so I have some experience with that. A lot of, a lot of on-card stuff, oh my gosh. Whew. I didn't realize as I was looking at it how much on-card Ninja Turtles stuff there was. Uh, Motu, He-Man stuff, oh my gosh, my battery's on the last bar. I might have to go hopefully have a battery. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff. Some more Mo2, Madball stuff. It's gonna be more Super 7. Yep, and then. Oh my god. <laughs> the old Rograt stuff, that's awesome. Jurassic Park Compound. Had that. Heck yeah. Alright, well. Some mask inbox stuff. Got some Lost World in package. Some gargoyles, actual old gargoyles. Very cool. Well, I know that I gave you guys a long video. So I'm either going to end it here after I'm done with this clip, or if my battery is absolutely dead, then I will end it uh, once I get home. This is crazy. There's some link stuff. If I think Dub probably has those. Some video game. Uh, oh my gosh, Storm Collectible figures. And then we have actual video game stuff. So once again, there's the entrance. And I think I've officially showed you every single figure in here. So um, I'm going to talk to Kenny a little bit and get some more information about what I need to put in here for you guys educational wise for the store because they're doing new hours and all that too so if i don't see you here i will see you back at the house and i'll wrap up the video okay so i'm home and i'm gonna make this quick because i'm still on the last battery but that's the end of the video by the way i uh added some lights to my shelves so be pretty cool but i should uh hopefully 
get that updated at some point. But that's when I do it before my battery dies. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. All the info for the new Toy Department store will be down in the description. Um, so go check them out. If you guys are there tomorrow, let them know that you saw the video, at least, so they know that this worked somewhat, so I can still film in their store. All right, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I love you guys, thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, may the fix be with you. Vroom, vroom. Daddy calls it Maybach, but my baby call it. Vroom, vroom. Hundred thou from the curry, yeah, he coming. Do so. I do this every week, no, not just once in every. Blue moon. My squad against your squad, you best know your home. Crew doom.